guys and in today's video we're gonna be doing a chemical experiment on how to grow your own crystals these are the tree crystals we're gonna be growing it's gonna take seven to ten days ten days maximum to grow fully so this is the aquamarine crystal the blue one here this is the glow-in-the-dark moon quartz cluster this green one here and this is the crystal snow tree. This is going to be exciting. Okay, let's unbox it. We're going to unbox it right now. Uh, here is the, um, what is it again? The mono, mono ammonium phosphate. The mono ammonium phosphate is this white powdery thing here whatever that is i don't know it's a black thing let's call it black thing <laughs> and, uh, i can't get this out okay this is the glow in the dark crystal brace you see that that thing in there inside this hexagon box yeah it's right there now i'm going to show you all the materials inside the box this is in the is, this is the instructions. This is not one of the, the materials. It tells you what to do. This is the monoammonium phosphate. This is the, the 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 tree trunk for the crystal snow tree. So container, brown container, square container. Hexagon container, the glow in the dark crystal base inside. Spatula for scooping up the mono ammonium phosphate, I guess. This, the, the blue mixture for the aquamarine crystal. If you ever find this in a store, please buy it, but make sure do it to do it under adult supervision as long as you're under 18 years old. Well, we don't need this box anymore. <laughs> okay, let's start. Pouring water that is 100 degrees hot. I'm gonna pour it. Oh, what do we do now? Oh, okay, we poured the mono ammonium phosphate. We had to pour the whole thing. Wow. Oh, it's heaping up at the bottom. Keep in the crystal base. I hope it didn't break <laughs> track. Okay, time to pour it in. To the mark. More, 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 a bit more. Yeah, that's good. This looks so cool. Ready, one, two, three, huh? This is the crystal snow tree I'm gonna pour. Last one. Ready, ready, ready. Yeah, that's enough, I guess. Three. I'm gonna keep the tree in now. Oh. It's getting wet. It's soaking up to the top. Oh my butt. Now we're gonna keep this, these, all of these on top of the fridge and wait and we're gonna check on it again in 24 hours. A heap, oh. I can't pour. Ha, ah, pour no water until the mark. Yes, that's enough. 
I'm going to keep this crystal in this hexagon. That's too much. So these are the three crystals, the aquamarine crystal, the glow and the dark moon quartz cluster, and the wait, <coughs> and the snow tree crystal. So I had to wait patiently for at least 10 days. Yeah, I'm so excited for this experiment. It's nice. After 10 days, the crystals form like these. This is how the crystal snow tree formed. I was expecting more, obviously, because it's a bit, it's okay enough. It's supposed to form like this. This is the glow-in-the-dark quartz cluster crystal. It melted a bit for, from the past two days. You can see the salt on the top. We'll see in the night if it glows in the dark. Alright. It's the aquamarine crystal. This is the aquamarine crystal. You can't see it because it's a bit dark in the water, but you can see the crystals are jutting out on the sides. Can you see? They're quite clear. It's nice. Now we're going to remove the water from these two containers and we're going to see the final product. This is how it looked on the box, as you can see. But our, our one didn't work out. Our one didn't work out so good. It was more of like a half failure, half success. But it's beautiful enough. Enough. Here's a good learning experience. I hope I, I, I encourage you to do it too. It's pretty fun after 10 days.